You don't need a soundproof studio to record for Audible ACX. Pass your ACX checks by following a few simple steps. Let me show you how as I record a short for YouTube and have it perfectly Amazon Audible ready in just a few steps. I'll even tell you about the secret. Let's delve into what works for me for narrating my audiobooks, which can easily work for you as well. <clears throat> so first things first, the very secret ingredient is running in the background right now. And that is my fan. It's an ordinary little fan that you plug in and you put it on high, medium, low. It's just a fan, a fan. But I have it in the background because it covers up a multitude of noises and it also creates some extra background noise so that my noise is not too quiet. My background noise isn't too quiet because you're getting judged on a few different things with the ACX um, check and one of them is your background noise. So you don't want it to be too quiet so that it sounds like dead zone, but you don't want it to be too loud that your listeners find you distorted and can't hear you. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to hit record. I'm going to take about five seconds worth of video and I'm going to do a couple of breathing things. And for those, basically, I'm trying to mimic any sounds that I might make that I want cut out. And mostly it's picking up the fan. It's going to pick me up, you know, taking my breaths and, you know, maybe, you know, my lips a little bit. So this is my first little sound bite and the idea is I do this before each and every recording and the idea is so that you can get these noises out of your recording so that it sounds better okay so we're going to take our first little sound bite and it's just for the background noise and me breathing and taking a breath in and you know pursing my lips just as I would when I'm speaking so five seconds here we go Okay, so we've taken a little bit over five seconds, and we're going to select this. Ooh, <laughs> I went control Z instead of control select. Don't worry about that because there is actually this right here. So this button right here is an undo edit. This one's a redo. So we brought it back. So control all to select my little, my little um, snippet of background noise. And we're going to go to effect. And what we do is we go down to noise reduction. So noise reduction, we can get a noise profile. So what this is, is basically it's getting a profile of our background noise so it can eliminate it. And I want it eliminated because that fan is running in the background and that fan is running for a reason. And also my big <gasps> taking in breaths happens and I get excited when I speak and I do it a lot. So, and I might, you know, purse my lips. And so I've done that. So now we've got our noise profile. So like I said, we go down to effect and we basically go to noise reduction. We get our noise profile. So now it knows what to eliminate later. So don't touch any other effects at this point. We just do this one first. And this is like step number one besides putting on the fan. So now I'm gonna delete this material because I don't need it anymore. It's in the memory. It knows what it has to eliminate. I just have to tell it to eliminate it after I've recorded my little kick. So what I'm doing today is we're going to record a small little noise clip. This is for a short for YouTube. Um, what I do is I'll take some material from Canva and I will paste together with the audio a cute little video and I will release it as a short as a sort of advertisement for my book. So we're going to hit record and we're going to do our short, okay? So our short is actually on the right side of the screen. I'm just reading um, from It's Santa's Workshop this year onward. Okay, so let's start with that. It's Santa's Workshop this year. Elle sighed and pulled out a pair of shoe covers that had little round bells on them. It was her compromise to the actual elf slippers that the store had been selling, which were highly impractical for a restaurant. You're kidding me, Noah said flatly as he looked at the costumes. Elves? This is what the store had. Santa and Mrs. Claus are sold out, El smiled hopefully. We'll all make cute elves. The customers will love it. I'm not wearing that, Noah said. Nowhere when I was hired did you stipulate that we would have to wear costumes. It's Christmas. The entire block is participating, and we are as well because it's good for business, El insisted. She grabbed a complete costume for herself. 
I'm going to get changed, and you'll see that it's not so bad. You will look cute as an elf. I will look like an overgrown idiot, Noah said darkly. Okay, so from there, and if you want to know a couple little shortcut keys, shortcut keys are great, um, R. So as long as you've selected on to here, R will start your recording, and the space bar will stop your recording. So you don't have to always continually hit record and stop. Okay, so we've got our piece here. And we know at this point that it has background noise because I take breaths and the fan is running. So we've done our piece. I'm relatively happy. I didn't stumble over too many words or anything like that. This is just for YouTube short. If it were for Audible, I might go over it and see if any of it needed um, some fixing, shall we say. So now I'm going to select it all. So I go control A to select the entire um, track. Now, if you want to select just a little bit, you can always put your mouse down um, and then use your left click and just drag it over and select the piece that you want. Right. But I'm ah! <laughs> don't do that. Bring it back. I am going to select all. OK, I hit controls that a lot. Basically, that just undoes your editing. And there you go. Next thing you know, <laughs> I have errors. So anyhow, I've selected the entire entire piece. So let's get this guy out of the way. And let's bring this up so we can see the whole thing. And we'll come back a little bit so you can see part of it right here. And you can see that in between there, there's some little, and over here, there's some little like noises. So this is noises that the microphone has picked up and it's not silent. So remember, we got that effect, that noise profile. So now we're going to come back. We're going to hit effect. And at the very top, it says repeat noise reduction. So this gets rid of the noise profile that you took earlier. So we're going to hit that. And you'll notice, look at these lines. Now they're straight in between our words. Isn't that fabulous? So that's great. Next thing on our list is we go down to normalize. So we're going to hit normalize. And again, these are the settings that you want. The two first ones are clicked. We're at minus 3.2 and we hit OK. Now we're going to go to our limiter. And limiter is usually down toward the bottom. Again, it's a hard limit for 4 minus 3.2, 10. No for the makeup game. And we're going to hit OK. And you're going to see these guys expand and get a little jumpy looking. OK. Now, when I was recording, you should have seen because we see this little line here. We got as high between the 0 and the minus 6. That's perfectly fine. That's like our peak. All right. But for the most part, it was kind of between the 12 and 6 peaking up to here. So now we're going to analyze. And this is going to tell us the truth. Did we make it good for ACX Audible Books? Look at that. Pass, pass, pass. So these are the levels that we're looking for. Um, our RCM list level has to be um, less than that minus 18. Uh, the noise floor, they're looking for it not to be too loud or too quiet. In the, it has to be uh, different. Than, I think it's lower than the minus 60. And the peak level, they want it at that minus 3.2. And by doing that right over there, we passed it. So beautiful. Now, sometimes I do have to troubleshoot. And this goes into how far away you are from your mic, how loud your mic is. Um, sometimes I just speak with a bit of a quieter voice. And so then I might need to troubleshoot different scenarios. And we'll get to troubleshooting uh, if it comes up in um, a recording that I do. And then I'll just take a quick recording of what I do to kind of troubleshoot and see how things are. But what I would do is like if the noise floor is still too noisy, I would grab a small piece like this go effect, get that noise profile from the noise reduction, and then I would run it again. Okay, so we would repeat that again. You can always normalize again. If your loudness, you're too um, quiet, you can hit your loudness normalization and it will bring you up to that toward that 18.0. And then just hit your um, hit your limiter again and your noise, your normalize, sorry, and then your limiter again and try again. Um, those are just areas kind of lead you where you might need to go. So right now, this is fully done. We've passed our AMX check. It was a quick little recording. Um, it's in the minute limit for YouTube shorts. It's perfect. Okay. So it's going to be smooth and it's ready to go. So at this point, I export as an MP3 player and we're going to go under, oh, this is a ring for Christmas. 
So this is a short we're going to put it as costumes short. We're going to save that beautifulness. It gives you the option. You can fill in this information. You can just say, okay. Um, I personally don't, but it's up to you what you want to do. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so that you get notifications of future videos and share to your friends. Put a comment on if you have a question. I'll try to answer it if I can. And, you know, enjoy future videos. Look at the playlist. See what else is happening in the narrating video section that I have for you. All right. Take care.